So today I'm going to talk about arguably one of the more interesting items in the collection here. That's this thing. Well, this is part of the thing. The thing is a U.S. Navy Mark V Mod 1 target designator. And, uh, well, it's what I have are three big gray boxes. And you're looking at the tag on one of them. Now, I don't have a whole lot of information on this system. So, yeah, you know, one of the ideas behind this channel is so I can talk about some of the things that I have. And maybe if I don't have information or parts or whatever, maybe you guys can help me out. So here we're looking at the three pieces here. I'm sorry for the cramped space here. And yeah, sorry for all the interesting stuff in the background. I'll get to that stuff eventually. This is uh, perhaps the uh, most interesting bit of this trio of boxes. And what this is, is a radar display. Probably mid-late 50s. Four joysticks. And yes, this thing is kind of a mishmash of computer graphics, radar, uh, early graphical user interface. I don't know what you want to call it. But basically, the idea is this was, was in a... These were installed in destroyers, I believe. And uh, these were used to, as the name suggests designate targets. These would sit in CIC and uh, well you'd get a, a radar display there. You can see it looks like a 12-inch tube there and you could grab a joystick. These are analog joysticks and move a little cursor along in the radar display and if you saw someone that you wanted to uh, well designate or <laughs> shell or blast or whatever you could go over with your cursor click the button there's a button on top of the joysticks there and send that data over to the director that would direct the guns or the missiles or whatever to do its business now this thing is a load of electronics let's start with the big box Oh, there we go. This thing is basically the I.O. unit. Now, this talks with the, uh, the other parts of the ship, the radar, the gun directors, all that fun stuff, via synchros. And uh, here we can see some of the units. We see repeat back. Uh, range repeat rack, uh, rack unit. We got all sorts of things here. Basically, this converts the XY positions to things that the uh, synchros could deal with because that's how these old ships would communicate distances, ranges, uh, azimuth, all sorts of things is by synchros. Analog, not digital, analog. Let's open one of these up and you can actually see. You can see some of the synchros in there. Also get a little bit of a view. Let's see if I can open up. Yeah, I started doing these. Nope, wrong one. Doing these screws ahead of time because I knew these have to be looked into. But oh boy, is this thing well built. Sorry for the dim light here. This is the lowest uh, light in the warehouse, I think. But yes, this big box is essentially the I.O. unit. It just converts all sorts of things to synchros and back. Power supply on the bottom. A bunch of uh, things you can set up test conditions. Now this is more or less the brain. And there we have bunches of tubes. This thing is the basically analog graphics portion that generates the cursors, reads the joysticks and all that kind of good stuff. And as I understand it, uh, the, joy the uh, cursors are little half circles. 
And when you, uh, you could steer around one half circle to what you want to blast, the director steers around his other half of a, a circle, and when you got a complete circle, well, then you knew the time to shoot. You can see this thing is just loaded with tubes. There are an awful lot of tubes, and there are even tubes in the base of this. They're kind of a pain in the neck to get to. Now, the thing about this is, I don't have any information on this. There is one of these systems, apparently, on the destroyer Kennedy in um, Fall River, Massachusetts, Battleship Cove. I recommend going there. Very neat place. But they don't have a manual either. So, one of the points of this channel is to <laughs> reach out to some of you guys. Oh, it's a long shot. Do any of you guys have a manual for a Mark V? Probably any mod, but Mark V Mod 1 target designation system. U.S. Navy, probably Bureau of Ordnance. And uh, this thing is, is basically mid, maybe late-ish 50s. And uh, I'd love to get this thing working, but right now it's, it's I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to start. There's so much, so much going on inside this thing. You can see we got some, uh, I could at least clean the knobs off. We got some plastic rot there. But, you know, look at all those terminal boards. Because this thing had to communicate to stuff all over the ship. Four channels of it, back and forth. They all had to talk. <laughs> Each of the three units had to talk together. Yeah, so it's it's. I need a manual. Desperate for a manual. So hopefully you guys will uh, come up with something. But yeah, I'd love to be able to uh, grab a grab a joystick. And actually, you know, this was all done in real time. Four people could do this at the same time independently. Worked as kind of a round robin thing, I think. And uh, maybe simulate some. Uh, Radar signals, have a map on the screen, just fake it or something like that with a Arduino or something, I don't know, and uh, be able to blast guys. That would be cool. You can see there's all sorts of other stuff on this. It's very typical uh, repeater type things. You could do range range markers, and uh, I think they would do uh, IFF paints and all sorts of things like that. But yeah. I should mention that the, I think this was a mostly a Raytheon system with bits of it made by Lytton. Uh, yeah, pretty cool if I could ever get it running. How many times do you ever see analog computer graphics from the tube era? Okay, well, you know, I'll keep you informed if anything comes up. But hey, if anyone, even five years from now, if this is still up on YouTube, if anyone has a manual and I don't have it, Boy, would I sure love to talk to you. All right. Uh, sorry about the low light here. This is the, the darkest portion of the warehouse, I think, just because there's a heating duct in the way of the lights. And, uh, okay, well. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like, maybe subscribe, check out some of the older videos, and uh, I'll try and uh, dig out more stuff. As stuff gets organized, I will make videos. All right. Thanks a bunch. Bye now.